Charles Barkley is living the year of a basketball lifetime. In the past 12 months, he's won an Olympic gold medal. Charles Barkley has experienced a virtual career rebirth since being traded to Phoenix. And he's earned well-deserved recognition as the NBA's most valuable player. But Charles Barkley believes that none of this will matter unless his ultimate wish comes true. The MVP was, it, I felt unbelievable. But the bottom line, the MVP is not my goal. I, if we don't win the world championship, I'm, I'm going to be crushed. Tonight, Charles Barkley's self-ascribed quest can come one step closer to reality. His career-long dream of an NBA Finals is one win away. Somehow, everything else he's accomplished this year loses meaning without it. is the NBA on NBC. The 1993 NBA Playoffs. Tonight, Game 6 of the Western Conference Finals between the Phoenix Suns and the Seattle Supersonics. As one of the stars in uh, Game 5. I know I couldn't. <laughs> <laughs> We're underway, Game 6. Perkins, Kemp from outside. Sean Kemp. For three. Mark West gives Phoenix another chance. Dumas in the lane. Richard Dumas ties it at two. Four in first quarter. And Phoenix, the highest scoring team in the league this year, averaging over 113 a game. Marley's first shot, dead center. John Kemp, great pass underneath, and that ties it at four as Gary Payton. Pressuring Kevin Johnson. He has it picked off, and that gives Pierce the easy two. They've been double teaming KJ the entire series effectively. And then it apparently was Perkins who gets the foul. Well, here's the double team again. Well, it's up court. You see the steal part of it, and Ricky Pierce that's laying it up. But they're going to double team KJ really hard and try to do it with big, bigger people. Marley underneath to score and tie it up. The foul, uh, going back to the previous play, was not on Perkins, but on Peyton before the collision. Kim, another 15 footer. This one doesn't drop. McKee rebounds. Blocked by West. Out to Barkley. Barkley has it go off the foot of Pierce. That appeared to be a good call. Yeah. And, and this is what Charles Barkley wants to do. He's in a force two already in this opening period. Peyton over Johnson. Gary for Seattle, that's going to be trouble for Phoenix. Kevin Johnson, it won't fall, but West is there to jam home the rebound. It's tied at eight. Here's for three. And the first tray of the night goes to Seattle's Ricky Pierce. I got the double team, and he passed it out to a wide open Ricky Pierce. Harley blocked by Peyton. the other way for Seattle. Whoops, runs over Johnson, no whistle. McKee scores, 15 to 8. He used to figure that's his game, but his first two shots before that were three-point attempts. And he misses the 10-footer. This is Peyton to Kemp, and Barkley breaks it up, and he, uh, is there a foul? No, he, and Barkley knocked it out of bounds. What an athletic effort. Look at this. 
this mid-air duel. Yeah, both guys going up high here. You see that Barkley had the inside position, and he was able to knock the ball out of bounds. Good call. That's small. Ricky Pierce. You can't give him that one. That's nine straight points scored by Seattle. Kevin Johnson answers for Phoenix to stop the nine point run by the Sonics. the foul showed that great first step at McKee and also that Tom Chambers shot the ball very well from the outside in game number five Chambers comes in shooting and hits so that's what he's going with he's going with that scoring and, the, and also he's going with the veteran list that he gives him he's been here before Kemp found himself in tight but immediately under the iron and couldn't get the ball on the glass over Perkins no foul West gets it back, stripped away. McKee stole the ball. Peyton brings it in. Marley on Pierce. Pierce for two. As well as their outside game going with Ricky Pierce. Perkins running West with a steal. Play the other way for Phoenix. Johnson. Barkley. And he still hasn't scored. Foul against Sam Perkins. Of course, Eddie Johnson alluding to the fact that Charles Barkley, hey, he's a national marquee name. Danny Ainge inside to score his first. Millen making his first appearance. And Barkley there for the steal. And then stripped away by Kemp. And a foul on Sean Kemp. I tell you, Char uh, Sean Kemp is Wait. playing an excellent game. Sean Kemp up vigorously defensively on Barkley. And Barkley scores his fourth point. His last six points. Barkley makes it an eight-point run, and it's a 23-22 Seattle lead. McMillan for two. Eddie Johnson the rebound. And draws the foul from Danny Ames. Well, Charles Barkley is been asserting himself in this last two possessions. He took a drive that time off balance and good. He's upset at the referee and then he comes right back with a jump shot here. They back off of him and he just takes the shot and he's brought Phoenix back in this game. Behind Mark Price and Chris Jackson gets his two. Great move inside by Kevin Johnson. It counts and a no, it didn't. No, it didn't. You know, out on yeah, the floor. Yeah, it looked like yeah. he was saying the ball was good. Yeah. It was an excellent move. He crossed over on him and caught him by himself. Cross over there, went in. See, he got bumped way outside, and uh, they waved the basket off. But he'll get free throws anyway. Camp takes it inside. And scores. 6.9 seconds. Camp with eight. Marley. Oh, a tough left-handed bank by Marley, who has six. It was very tough. And that's the end of the first quarter here at the Seattle Coliseum. And as we've stated, these two teams so well matched. And the score reflects it after the first 12. Pierce leading Seattle, but only to a two-point lead, 27-25. I just think, you know, we're not going to treat him like a, a king. <laughs> Barrows to Cage. Eddie Johnson. Eddie Johnson has four. Marley for three. Oh, my. And that's the first lead for Phoenix since it was four to two. Seattle an extra chance. Barrows for three, and it just misses. That's all right, because the time before that, he showed you something different. Sky real high, and then come in with the monster jam. 
I, I'm happy for him that being Sean Kemp, that fans around the country will finally get to see him play. Weight 41 pounds during the year. Barrows not there. Chambers with a rebound. Johnson picked off Barrows who was going for the steal. Ainge hits the three. Oh man, did he pick him off? back in the game. Chambers from outside and Phoenix enjoys its largest lead for Goring. And Burroughs who hasn't played much uh, latter half of the season. But Billen gets it inside and foul Chambers. Five in the shot clock. And he was able to do that. Chambers fails. McMillan breaks out three on three. To Perkins. Beautiful. Play. Seattle Beautiful. reclaims the lead. 36-35. Shooter, people, uh, when you're not a scorer, excuse me, people come up on you and play you tight. Well, Nate McMillan went right around Tom Chambers, and then he came right back on the dribble drive. Spin move here, and he's going to kick it to Sam Perkins, who lays it in for two. Barkley hasn't scored in the second quarter. Good dish off by Kevin Johnson and Barkley for three. That's where Seattle wants Barkley to shoot. Fast break to Michael Cage with a payoff. Nate McMillan sets him up. Seven lead changes, six ties already in this game. Chambers makes it the eight seventh tie at 38. Well, he caught Gary Payton on him, and he just shot the ball right over him. Perkins goes inside, and Mark West with a foul. His third. Well, you love this kind of scene, the fast break. Well, I love it because usually when the bench is in, they want to get out in the transition seat where they can do this very well. Michael Cage finishing the, the pass from Nate McMillan. Barkley with a tough pass. So Barkley gets it back. And then it's taken away by Cage. Fans like this. Ricky Pierce. 42-38. Pierce leads all scores with 11. Ever wild in you. This is up and down basketball. Kevin Johnson drains a 15-footer for his seventh point. And Perkins uses those long arms to pilfer. That's the eighth turnover forced by Seattle. Pierce off balance and a foul. Subtract him from what he has to do on the basketball court. He's back in, sets up Miller in the post. And the trigger, Oliver Miller. Oliver See why they're so excited about the talent of this young man from Arkansas. As we were saying earlier, he can do a lot of things. And scoring is one of them. Side to McKee, and he's able to power up for his sixth point. See another excellent pass by Sean Kim after he was double team. He found the open man and got them an easy layup. They knock it away from Kevin Johnson. That's Ricky Pierce. Derek McKee was uh, shielding the long defender all the way down court. And Miller left alone for an easy two at the other end. Rebound Miller. Johnson, the long pass, and Perkins intercepts in front of Barkley. Johnson falls, so McKinney gets it to Kemp. Six-point lead, Seattle. Barkley inside on his What do they need to now? Oliver Miller is left alone, and Miller's hit two straight jumpers. So you, you can't sit back on him. He's not like a, a regular power forward or center. He can shoot that shot. Two minutes to go in the half. 14,812 here at the Coliseum, and that's against Barkley. His first disbelief from Barkley. He's showing that frustration. That should be a technical and is. Well, he hooked him right there. Excellent call by Daryl Harrison. Then he slammed the ball after uh, the call was made. So Perkins for three. To Pierce. Ricky Pierce. And a whistle.
Russell against Marley, and that'll be his third. Connick's wanted a big first half. Here, McKee rolls in. What an excellent job, like I said, of inside outside game. They're getting their jump shots to go down. Kevin Johnson responds right there. They're getting their outside shots to fall. He aims for three. Barkley uncontested underneath 61 50 his only points of this quarter Barkley with just seconds remaining and now a chance on the turnover for Miller Perkins, to Perkins blocks what a play by Big Sam well this is what's been happening it carried over from game five to this game here they've been really contesting every shot inside now in game five they had 11 block shots they started this game the same way. They're Sam Perkins contesting Oliver Miller. They're contesting every shot. They're not letting them drive the lane. Good half for the Seattle Super Sun. Aims for three. It was on line, but just short. The end of the half. The Sonics trying to force a decisive game seven in this Western final. Lead by 11. We'll be joining Bob Costas, Quinn Buckner, and Bill Wall. Prudential halftime report right after these messages. With Oliver Miller and Barkley, an interesting choice by Paul Westfall. This lineup and Sabalas immediately pays a dividend. Same five that started for Seattle, and that one was partially blocked by Barkley and goes out of bounds to Seattle. Barkley's arguing he didn't touch it. Well, if he didn't touch it, then he must have fouled him because there really something happened. Yeah, that was a great live pass there from Dan Marley to Cedric to Bali. Marley with three fouls for Phoenix. West on the bench to start that. To Ballas takes it to the iron and draws the foul. Two wise veterans. Pierce takes it inside. And the foul will go against Pierce. So Dallas misses. Payton with a fake on Sabalas. Gary Payton with six. Oh. Johnson gets it inside to Miller. No foul. Back on uh, by Perkins. And at the other end, Payton unable to connect. And there's a foul on Kevin Johnson. His what? first. Marley way off the mark. The long pass to Pierce. Back to Payton. Pierce unable to score. Miller was there defensively. Johnson goes the distance. Sabalas tips it in. See, that's what Southern Sabalas give Phoenix. A guy who's going to always follow up shots. Oh, beautiful move by Peyton. Peyton, who made the shot of the game in game five, a blind backhander underneath. Well, there was a beauty there. Well, in the last two games, he's been more offensive minded and more aggressive on the offensive end. Peyton got a piece of him, and Miller scores. Here's two young players making great uh, baskets for their team. Kevin Johnson goes all the way. Cedric Tobias comes out of nowhere with a beautiful tip. And then here comes Gary Payton right back after that. He said, OK, Cedric, if you can do this, I can do that. Right here, lays it up backhanded. Beautiful move. Miller completes the three-point play. Uh, Phoenix could not beat them with this game being like it is. John Kemp beating the clock. Two seconds on the shot clock when he drilled that line drive. Ten-point lead. And you normally don't see Sean Kemp shoot from the outside. He ran the inside shoot. AJ at the other end for Phoenix has the answer. He's going to have to make a defensive stand and try to get a run going. Hayden from the side. He seems to shoot better from the side than he does straight out. Yeah. And he's feeling it right now. He's feeling good. You saw after he shot that one, he, he stopped hopping in the air, jumping in the air. That goes back to Savalas, and Savalas turned an ankle and waves to the bench. He has eight points. At the other end, Ricky Pierce, the veteran, showing his hustle. But what, what they're doing is they're beating, they're beating him right now. Well, we, we'll stay tuned right here to uh, Cedric Savalas because he's hurt right now. Oh, so maybe he'll get some help. Well, same play into Barkley, and then he feeds Miller for the jam. Exactly. Good job. That magic pad. Good job on that, Irvin. Barkley inside. 74-67. Barkley with a rebound. And suddenly it's Phoenix. You just feel them. Uh, 
building here in this third quarter. And Barkley setting up Miller. And Miller fouled by McKee. We'll see what happens if before they were double teaming Sean Barkley. This time they decided not to double team him. And he's going one on one with Sean Kemp. And you know what happens when he gets to go one on one. It's a deuce. Barkley comes out to challenge Kemp. Two on the clock. Big basket by Sean Kemp. He just beat the buzzer. 16 now for him. Even though he did that, Dick. Kemp dives in and takes it away from Barkley. Oh, my. Fans love that. And McKee grabbed on the arm. Danny Ames has his second foul. What a defensive steal by Sean Kemp. Charles Barkley is getting ready to go one on one, and he just dove in there and stole the ball. And, and here it is again. Watch his quick hands. He's gonna dive in there and steal it. Good defense by Sean Kemp. Well, that is really a gamble here. If Barkley moves the other way, then uh, Kemp's embarrassed. But what a play! And that's Oliver Miller fronting Kemp at the other end. 69 Seattle. KJ. No foul on Perkins, and he takes it away. Payton gets it back. Blocked by Miller. Perkins. 78-69 Seattle. On Chambers. Makes it look easy. If he shoots a set shot, usually it's going to go in. You got to make time, Chambers, put the ball on the court and drive. Derek McKee. Kemp has given this team. Barkley goes right to Kemp. And Frank Johnson left alone. And the veteran who played the last three years in Italy thought his NBA career was over until the injury by Kevin Johnson early in the season. And he produces off the bench. And now with a steal, Frank Johnson. Barkley to the hole. Barkley blocked by Perkins. Boy, what a scramble. Barkley, fourth attempt, doesn't score. That was remindful of last night at the Garden in New York. Now a foul in the backcourt on Chambers. Man, what a skirmish inside. Charles Barkley had at least three or four opportunities. We're going to take a look right here. That's one. One time. Two times up. He's contested every time, though. And here comes Sean. That was a foul right there. They didn't call it. And then Sean Kemp said, you didn't call the first one. You got to call the second one. <laughs> Still got a good shot that time. Spark here around Cage. Blocked by Cage and a foul. You almost knew that this was going to happen. He, he felt he got fouled uh, the last possession before, we, uh, before the timeout. And this time you knew he was going to take it to the basket and get fouled. This is the last time now he felt he got fouled. Nobody called it. Now after that he said, okay, you didn't call it. There's one. Boom. There's, where's the other one, child? Boom again. But Charles, you forgot. It's three referees. He only shot two of them. This game, much like game five, where Seattle is always there. Always there. And Phoenix doesn't go away. Barkley wants the ball. He is fouled. Well, here, what's going to happen is Derek McKee is going to set a pick, and Dan Marley helped out, and Derek McKee slides back door for the two. a one on three and then McMillan makes a steal. McMillan at the end of the quarter with these Seattle fans on their feet. Sonics 86, the Suns 75 and we'll be back after these messages and a word from your local station. Have anything left if there is a game seven, but you're going to.
Not going to be with us on Saturday if that's the case. Derek McKee. But he came right back with three in a row. There was KJ on the drive. Here comes KJ. Likes to go the distance. Marley blocked by Perkins. Boy, they are really attacking. Oops, watch out. Ainge and Michael Cage get into it. And Marley comes in to help out. And George Carl out on the floor. And uh, he shouldn't be there. Paul Westfall is uh, restraining Barkley. Uh, you don't want to see that happening. And uh, maybe both of these teams are showing a little of the East now. <laughs> but not in the West, we're in the East. Uh, team Ainge foul. also got a foul. He was the one who initiated the action, his third. Cage with five. They'll give him that shot. And he hits it. Beginning, they continue that throughout the game. They're really playing their game. Kevin Johnson, Johnson. Uh, drains a 17-footer. Kevin Johnson again arguing about a call. He won a, a, a five. Sean Kemp walking on air as he hits that five-footer. Oh, he's now gaining the respect of everybody in the whole country because they don't see a beautiful basketball player like him often, and now he's. On national TV, and he's taking advantage of it. Hand for Derek McKee, who goes out with 16 points. 15 seconds to go, and it's Pierce inside. Pierce again. Look at Seattle. They continue to attack. They're aggressive. The NFL's Defensive Player of the Year, adding his 310 pounds to the sonic noise. Kevin Johnson. Hits one of them right Johnson. on the line, and Johnson, the top score for Phoenix, was 17. Uh, John Kemp. Oh, Kemp has shown his total offensive package tonight. But McMillan in their effort to deny. There's a jumper again by Sean Kemp. He's hit like three at the, at the buzzer as the shot clock is winding down. He's hit like three shots tonight. Chances defensively. Peyton forces the shot. It's taken away by Frank Johnson to Kevin Johnson. Kevin scores, and he is fouled by Ricky Pierce. So KJ turning up the burners on a beautiful move. You know, it's, it's tough to guard him in an open court when he has the ball because he has so many weapons that he can use. Right there, he just goes to his left hand. He just blows right past the defender for two points. Beautiful move by KJ. And, and he had the presence of mind shoot the ball with his left hand, keep it away from the defender. Full court trap type game. They're going to try to get some turnovers. Oh, they got another one. There's a charge. I think Cage and Johnson have played in all 100 games. Oh, a little screen, and no one picks up McMillan on the drive. He has six. Marley calling for the ball after missing the trade, but Marley says, I'll handle this, and he's fouled. Frank Johnson hits the side of the board and a foul. And Frank Johnson and Ricky Pierce disagree. Well, what's happened is Ricky Pierce pump faked him in the air, and Frank Johnson went by and kicked him in the face. And so I don't know if he was mad, if Ricky Pierce felt that he kicked him in the face uh, on purpose, or if he just something they had going on before that. Here's the pump fake here by Ricky Pierce. See, ooh, right in the mouth. Frank Johnson kicked him right there. And uh, Pierce got upset. Oh, man. Good shot down. Every possession. Barkley rejects Peyton, but a foul on Barkley. His third. With four minutes left, uh, it's uh, fairly early, isn't it? No, because they're not going to win this game. Like I said, been as cold in the second half tonight as he was hot the whole game in Phoenix. Danny Ainge
Williams with a foul. You can't miss, and that's what happened. Marley using the left hand. Fights to get the ball back. Oh, he goes down hard. And so does the Sonics' Sam Perkins. Perkins holing his head. Eastern. You'll see the game six tomorrow. Kemp gets it out to Perkins with 10 seconds. They're still hustling. Sean Kemp still went to the floor even though they're up. Gary Payton takes it inside. He has 16. He had 20 in game five. Five Sonics and double figures. The five starters. Carl leads the cheers with a timeout. Sean Kemp is still hustling. He dives on the floor, makes the play, kicks it back out. Boy, this, this, this Seattle crowd is just going crazy. 221 left. Carl, he did not take Sean Kemp out uh, right, right then at the timeout because he wants this crowd to go crazy and take up when he takes They're going to foul right here. Good move by George Carl. He wants the crowd to appreciate Sam Perkins. Seven against Houston. Sam Perkins adds a little thrusting. Even broke into a little smile. Well, he's hit four straight. And I know George Collins hoping that's going to carry over to game seven. They're unable to hit. And he's a crowd favorite here. They want him to score. Johnson scores. Right, Johnson. Now, also, let's see how the absence of Cedric Sabalas, is that, is that going to hurt? Phoenix or not. There's an extra man that came in and gave him a big lift when he was out there, so they, they won't have him for game seven. That's right. He did score the first four points as Mustaf has his first points of this series. So, Dick, you have to wait and see what team uh, is tired. Because Daniel you know, gets his first points. Usually when you play a game seven, sometimes your leg be dead, so the team might not be hitting their jump shot, and that will hurt Seattle. I mean, that will hurt uh, Phoenix. Final seconds tick away. Oliver Miller misses from three-point range, and Seattle has forced the issue. George Carl Sonics, 118. Phoenix, 102. The winner on Saturday goes to the NBA championship. Don't wander away. We'll get a word from the Sonics when we return.